Hey everybody, it's Dr. Smith from Accomplished Health and Wellness here in Lawrence, Kansas, and Heather Fiore from Free State Nutrition here in Lawrence, Kansas. And um, today we're talking about seafood, right? And those omega 3s. Yes. And so um, today, you know, we're all getting back to school, and I don't know about you, but I'm completely run down and I'm like really tired of all the parent homework that they keep sending home. I'm like, what's <laughs> up with that? Yes. I can't. What do you think? First I couple weeks are dinner over and Do all this other stuff and you're sending me homework. Uh -huh. What? So I thought we all needed some energy. So okay. we're doing Yogi Brand and it's um, vanilla spice. Perfect energy. So we can have some energy to do our parent throw. homework. I love it. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I like these member because they have these little thingies. Mm -hmm. So mine says, everlasting impact with compassion and kindness is called love. Oh. Yeah, these ones are kind of long today. I know. So this one, the purpose of life is to know yourself and, and love yourself and trust yourself and be yourself. That's the only person I know how to be. So that's good. <laughs> I've gotten that I one down. That. So um, oh. it's vanilla spice. What do you think? It's got spice to it. A little bit. Oh, yeah. Vanilla and some spice. Okay. okay. So today, we're going to talk about um, fish and omega-3s mm -hmm. and um, all the good stuff, right? So yeah. And all the, you know, I figured, I'm just assuming we're talking about mercury as well. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. so, um, that's important that's when yeah. you're looking at fish, seafood, yeah. stuff. Um, so, we... Um, are going so we don't know who's watching us so if you like us then we know who you are <laughs> anyways we can say hi um anyways okay so why do we want to eat fish and seafood right um because there's like a big reason it's for all of those omega-3s mm -hmm. right so yes, um true. and what are those um omega-3s that we're looking for what are they? Oh, yeah. like like DHA and yeah, yeah, and EPA, and EPA right? Yeah. So that's what's found in our fish, mm. the DHA and the EPA. But the fatty fish, right? That's what I was just gonna say because some fish is low in omega threes. Mm -hmm. You know, some fish is like the worst of the worst. It's like low in omega threes and high in mercury. mercury. It's yeah, like, like stay away from yeah. those. Don't bother eating like that. shrimp, right? Shrimp does. Oh, it, shrimp is low in. Okay. Um, omega-3 true but I mean that's not the only reason to eat fish though so no so the omega-3 no. fish would be uh, like salmon. salmon tuna but you have to be careful but you too. have to be careful what tuna you, you do yes but there are ways to eat tuna without being getting too much mercury. yes and then there's um, the yucky ones um, sardines okay. right yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes yes sardines are great because they've got vitamin D and they also have Omega threes. I don't know. I don't eat any fish, so I can't say that sardines are any worse oh, than any others. But you know, the smell. Um, when my you open mom the can is loves like... them. She likes the, the thick round pasta. I forget what it's mm. called. And then with sardines, that's what she. She could like put them inside. If she... <laughs> <laughs> she probably could. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. So so that's one okay, reason. But those are good. Yes, for you, they are good for you. And then there's mackerel, but you have to be careful. Yes, too. mackerel. Um, but there are I've other reasons. Um, to oh, eat. there's also um, another one. Yes. Rainbow trout. Yes. Right? Rainbow yeah, trout. I think that's the right one. That one's pretty good, actually. Okay. Yeah. But other reasons to eat fish, um, they're associated with, you know, healthy lifestyles, right? And less yes. chronic disease. Like, you know, when we talked about DASH, we talked about Mediterranean. Mediterranean yeah. Um, you know, they incorporate fish because yes. people who eat fish are healthier. Right, and they tend to have lower heart disease. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And so the yes. fish has less saturated fat, mm -hmm. and it's a good source of protein, so it's yes. a good swap if you're trying to eat less red meat. Yes, and it's also actually high in iodine, which mm -hmm. is, you can't really get iodine that many ways yes, in that's true. our diet. So um, it's either salt, which is iodinized, mm -hmm. or seafood, or kelp, yeah. you know, if you're doing, like, sushi and stuff. Right. Um, so there's not a lot of other ways. Um, and then uh, selenium, it's mm -hmm. high in selenium. Yes. 
Um, and I said vitamin D, I think so. Yeah. So those are the um, other benefits that you get. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's been actually a lot of data that shows that, so you always think that like when you're pregnant, you're not supposed to eat any seafood, but mm -hmm. actually you are. Yes. You're supposed to you eat are. somewhere between like eight and 12 ounces a week. Right. And um, that's because the studies show that kids um, that are born to moms that have been eating low mercury, high fat fish, mm -hmm. uh, or high omega-3 fatty fish, um, during, in utero, they actually have um, low, they have better brain function and lower um, nervous system problems. So better brain function, better nervous system. Mm -hmm. So better fine well, motor I mean, and stuff like who that. Who doesn't want that for their kids? Right, and, and actually they score a few points higher on the IQ test too. Whoa. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Reasons, but um, you know, yes. for all of us that are already uh, born and <laughs> aren't having kids yeah. or nursing. Right. Um, that's the other thing when you're nursing, you should as well, not because you're all feeding baby, but also you're replenishing your iodine, which you lose a lot during nursing. So good point. Yeah. So, but um, all of us other people out there that aren't having babies anymore or you know aren't little kids growing up we um, we can eat it to reduce our risk of heart disease mm -hmm. um, which is good and we can eat it because it's good except for she doesn't eat it but she doesn't <laughs> know what she's missing Did you ever eat it? <laughs> yeah, like as a kid I had it once or twice yeah yeah my um, when I was really little, my mom and my grandmother, I think, were sort of in cahoots to um, trick me, and they spelled it, and I was not uh, reading they that. They spelled it, and they were like, we're having F-I-S-H -S today. Yes. And so my sisters were like, mm, no, thank you. And I tried it, I was like, ooh. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> that was always a big joke. Yeah. F-I-S-H. So um, um, what should, what's the, like, the recommended... I know like pregnant women, it's eight to 12 ounces a week. Right, and you know, in like DASH and Mediterranean, what it's we like saw two. was like two servings, two servings. Um, or you know, two times a week type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think I think more would probably be okay as long as you're careful about the mercury. mercury. So, yeah. I mean, the things that, you know, these are the positive things we were talking about, the omega-3s and all the nutrients and stuff. The downside is, you know, the mercury, but then also, um, hopefully you care about the like health of our oceans right and, you know yeah. so there's like the sustainability yeah. factor i was um reading this article actually about that in um, mm -hmm. like how the fda came out and said everyone should up their yes amount of um fish that we're eating which yes right true except if we do that all at once there's only so many fish out there people. yeah and um, <laughs> all the fisheries and all of the, mm -hmm. um, in the ocean, I mean, it's all just going to go down. Right. And if you think about the It'll way, be not just, yeah, so there's the overfishing and then there's also the, you know, the way that they fish, right? If they have right. like, they use those big nets, which I think are supposedly illegal, I don't know, but there are like, they use these big nets to catch everything and then they've got like sea turtles and all sorts of stuff in there. Right. And they just, you know. They don't make it and nobody yeah. cares yeah. so um, you know so you really want to be sort of thoughtful about yeah. where you're getting your fish from yes um, and then the other part is um, in terms of just sort of being aware is that if you f do your own fishing then oh, yeah where you know, do you fish yeah like then yeah you have to like you have to check you have to check maybe with your local health department and yeah have, like local advisories and yeah you know because if you're fishing like a lot of people will fish below the dam right um here it, or at perry lake mm -hmm. they'll fish below the dam i'm sure at clinton lake too and um because like the fish is coming out it's easy to catch there and mm -hmm. it's the most polluted area yeah the rivers you know, like when it rains a lot and there's like this nasty brown foamy stuff that nobody really knows what it is. And if you jump in, it might actually gobble you up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's called pollution. Yeah. And um, that's what our fish are swimming in and eating mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And so do you want to eat the brown scum on the top of the river? No. Right. And it's tough because, you know, people really rely on fishing, at, yeah. you know, as a way to supplement their yeah. 
their diet and, you know, yeah. help their income, like their yeah. budget, you know. Well, but, and some of that fish, I mean, because of the high pollution in those areas, they're high in mercury. So right. just so you know, you know the catfish? You know, everyone loves catfish. Mm -hmm. Fried catfish. That's what like, my, my mom loves. Mm -hmm. So that one is higher in mercury, lower in fat, and then you fry it as if it wasn't bad enough for you already. Yes. You fry it, and it tastes good. Mm -hmm. But little did you know, you're going to be getting the mercury in there. <laughs> um, so maybe we should talk about... Um, <laughs> Some places to uh, get your information about oh, yeah. fish, you Definitely. know, because even if we go through everything, you're not going to have all this memorized. So you you really have to like have it with you. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah. Um, so there's, um, you know, I think we're both kind of well partial to the environmental working group. We do because yeah. they have lots of guys. They have lots of information there. They yeah, have, and they have like this great thing about what kind of fish you should eat and why, mm -hmm. and it has mm -hmm. this little table there that you can um, look at and see because you're searching for a fish that's high in omega-3 and low in mercury that's going to give you the best brain and heart benefits okay yes. so we like that ewg right so they have, a, they have a guide you can even like put in like your age your gender your, and like your weight yeah and then it'll like tell you how much you disease. should be getting yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. kind of cool which uh, is cool. um and it'll tell you um, like which ones to get, yes. you know, so that you're not your best bang for your buck. Right. Right. And they take into account, I think, don't they take into account the sustainability factor as yes. well as the mercury? Yes, because that's very contaminants. important to them. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. So the EPA and the FDA have their own little um, PDF. I mean, it's fine. It's not yes, super it comprehensive, but no. it's good. They kind of break it down very simply. Yeah. These are your best choices. Uh, you know, these are some good choices, and then these are things that you probably should not eat at all. Yeah. So, you know, as long as the fish you want to eat is on the list, then you're in good shape. It's just sometimes, yeah. you know. What if you don't have that with you? Yeah. Like you're at the grocery store and you're like, mm, I'm in the mood for fish. Yes. What am I going to yeah. do? Which one do I get? Which now? one did I get? Oh, well, salmon's good. Yeah. We what can does, always go that what salmon. What did Dr. Smith say? Yeah. yeah. What, what did Heather help me? So there's an app. Yes. Everything has an app. Yes. So the Monterey Bay, I found, I came across Monterey Bay when I was pregnant with my second child. And they used to have this little folded thing. Mm -hmm. And you could put it in your purse or your wallet or whatever. And you could take it with you. And then you could be like, oh, this is a fish I need. Yeah. But now, people, there's an app. And what's it 2018. called? 2018. Come on. Yeah, everything has I think it's called Seafood Watch, just like there you their go. Um, Seafood Watch. You can get, you know, they have a website. And for you it. can, like, put it in there and see um, is it a good fish for you or not. Right. So, And they're certainly concerned about the, uh, the health of oceans as well. So yeah. that's part of their. So next time you are taking your honey to Red Lobster, you can both choose wisely. <laughs> So that's kind of an interesting point, though, because um, sometimes um, fish is mislabeled, yeah. which is disturbing. Yeah. How do you mislabel a fish? I mean, you do it on purpose is how you right. do it, right? I mean, they're mislabeling things to, you know. And one all you get is like the slab of something that you think is going to be salmon. Right. Just cause and it's orange. pink. Right. Or what? And you know what? Let me just tell you this. This bugs me so much, okay? Salmon is not supposed to be that pink, right? It's not. They feed them pellets yeah. with, like, dye in it. It drives me bonkers because that, okay, that's what so people want. They that, want red tomatoes and they want yeah. yellow bananas and they want That's pink the difference when you're at the grocery store and you're looking and it's like this one is really salmon color and this one is light pink. That one didn't get the dye pellets. Just saying. Mm -hmm. We eat with our eyes, so we have a really hard time with it. Yeah, so reprogram your brain yeah. to want the light pink. Okay. So then the other thing is that sometimes it's not labeled with enough detail, right? Because some of these right. guides will say, like, oh, Atlantic salmon yes. or farm race or whatever. And, you know, you can try to ask, and sometimes, depending on where you go, 
they might have answers for you, but uh, sometimes you don't know, and then it gets hard. Yeah. But you can at least like a simple question is, do you, uh, you know are your fish are your fish sourced sustainably? Yeah. Like you know that's maybe the best you can do. Yeah. Yeah, you can't ask where they come from, like if they're farm raised either. Mm -hmm. What are their practices? But you can actually go to local fish hatcheries and you can buy mm -hmm. fish, I'm pretty sure, directly from them. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So there's you know what else? Mm -hmm. You can actually um, go online and you can find um, local ponds that you can fish at for free and it yeah. helps to keep the fish population oh. under control. Oh. Yeah. And so people will list their ponds for you to come fish at, or it might be like a small price or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then um, those people will tell you, you know, this is what's in my pond and whatever, blah, blah, blah. So there's another cool. way to get some fish. I find that pond fish is a little bit um, fishier. It's like pondy fish <laughs> but it's better than below the dam fish mm -hmm. you know it's not going to have that high mercury level and stuff like that so. mm -hmm. hey carrie nice to have you so um, you know that is you know an important thing to think about because yes. you know fish is really important and we're you know promoting it as a you know as a country really um that we should be eating more fish um a lot of people you know not just vegetarians but people who aren't vegetarians still are kind of like oh i don't know if i like fish it's so you know fishy or whatever you know Some they have fish these is not so fishy too. right yeah. i like salmon and um i you know some people say it's fishy i think it's the fishy fishiest of the fishy that i can tolerate but i mm -hmm. like salmon I like it when because um, the oils in the salmon when you cook it, it kind of makes um, it a little bit crunchy but tender too at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so it's like almost like it fries itself, but it's not fried. And yes. I am one, I cannot stand to have fish with skin on it. Oh, grosses me out. And so I actually <laughs> will take the salmon and I put it in a frying pan when it has that skin on it mm -hmm. and I just put it in there for literally like two minutes and then that skin just comes off and I toss it and then I cook the rest in the oven. That's what I do. Okay. It's good. I um, think it's a lot of times people don't know how to cook fish. They're yeah. afraid or they don't know how or they cook it too or long. Or like it has dry. too many bones yes. and stuff. Yeah. And you can mm -hmm. ask that actually at the um, grocery store or wherever you get your, your, your fish. Um, that is something that I ask a lot. I'm like, does that one have a lot of bones? Because I'm not about picking off bones mm -hmm. or choking on them or whatever. Yeah. Or like all of a sudden finding a toothpick that you didn't know that you were going to have, you know? <laughs> so you can ask that. That's and good. they actually do know the answer to those questions. Well, that's good. Yeah. So there you go. Cool. Anyways. So I don't know, um, you know, how much detail we could get into. Like we could... You know, we could talk to, we could reference the FDA, EPA list because it's well, simple. Here. E -W -E. So here, like I know we already said that, mm -hmm. but um, their list of, um, oh, was, did I say sardines or anchovies? Oh, so, I said sardines. Okay. Yeah. So um, wild time. salmon, sardines, mussels. Ooh. Yeah, I can't do those either. Do you know, like, no, I can't do those. Rainbow trout and Atlantic mackerel. Those are the ones that are highest in omega-3 and lowest in mercury. Yes. According to EWG. If you click on that. Um, yeah. Good. Yeah. Then the next list is going to be high in omega-3 and low in mercury. So that's mm -hmm. going to be oysters. I can't do this. Anchovies. Pollock or imitation crab. And herring. It's a red herring. Oh. Um, <laughs> So the next one, so this is low, oh, I said um, shrimp was high in mercury, but it's actually low. It's, yeah. So but it's so it's low in mercury, but it's low in omega-3, so it's really not giving you a whole lot. Well, it's still good. It's not as it's good. It's giving you some other stuff. Some of the other stuff that yes. you need. Right. Um, but that's shrimp, catfish, oh, I said that about catfish too, um, tilapia, clams, scallops, those are kind of greedy. 
sometimes. And I don't even know how to say that. I don't know. Ping, ping, ping. Yeah, a P one. Ping. We say ping. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That one. Um. So those are low in mercury, but low in omega threes. So you're not getting a big bang for your buck on those, but you will get some iodine, some selenium. Right. Some and it's still D. a good choice and over, it's a protein yeah it's a protein yes. so over you know but you shouldn't fry meat. it yeah. yeah you know like we're all eating the popcorn shrimp and the fried catfish with our um you know what it is called fish and chips mm -hmm. our french fries and fried catfish probably not the best way right well it's fried it. anything right i mean that's you yeah. know it it's like you know our potato our french fries yeah. still potatoes like once yeah. you deep fry something I'm yeah i'm not so sure yeah um so you really want to limit like how much you fry anything yeah so sure. here's oh. the sad part the next list mm -hmm. this one is higher in mercury and it's our tuna um, but, but light and albacore yes light and albacore tuna yeah. you know they say that albacore tuna actually no kid should even touch right Remember right. that. So no, you're better uh, off with the light versus albacore is what yeah. was my understanding? Yes, light versus albacore. Because albacore is the white. Okay. Yeah. And it's higher in mercury. High in mercury. So I always think light, low and lower. Lower and mercury. Lower in mercury. Yeah. And then halibut, but here's the sad one, lobster. Mahi, mahi. <laughs> and sea bass. I never had sea bass, but. Mahi, mahi, I'm sad about it. Now, here's the thing. Now, they're not saying don't eat. They're, they're saying this Don't is, eat a lot of it. You have to, like, kind of keep track. Like, if yeah. these things are part... Like, if you, you have a lobster once a year or yeah. once every 10 years or whatever, have at it. But, yeah. you know, don't eat all of these things all the time. Yeah. And especially if you're pregnant or if you're a child. Like, yes. You, you shouldn't eat those during pregnancy or yeah. Yeah, when you're a kid. But, um, but yeah, the rest of us can eat those things. Yes. We just need to be careful. And then these are ones that you shouldn't eat. Yes. Shark. Swordfish. I'm not sure if I've had that one. I don't even know what a tile fish is. It's a tile fish. Um, king mackerel. So remember the Atlantic mm -hmm. mackerel you can have, but that's, not the king mackerel. That's when it gets confusing. Mm -hmm. Marlin and the big some, eye. The, yeah, the big eye tuna. Big and then orange ruffy. I've never had that one. I don't know what it tastes like. So those you shouldn't have. Don't eat. Mm -hmm. And so here's why. Because these are predatory fish, and they eat other fish. And they eat other fish that have mercury in them. And so they actually will build up their mercury levels inside of them. So they that's why they are higher in mercury. So, um, yeah, you shouldn't do that. Don't eat those. All right. So it's really important to eat fish. It is. It's got a lot of healthy benefits yes. for you. Yeah. Um, but you have to do it kind of, you know, wisely. You have to kind yeah. of pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. And really so informed. this list is um, from EWG, but you can go on the Monterey Bay app. What was it called? Uh, Seafood Watch. Seafood Watch. And you can put in the fish there, and then um, it'll tell you whether or not you should eat it or not. And because remember, people, what we want is low mercury. Just think of like, you know, I'm not going to come Low mercury. All right. We don't want mercury in our vaccines, just like we don't want it in our fish. Okay. So low mercury, high omega-3. But even if it's low in omega-3, we can still eat it. It's just not going to give us the DHA and the EPA that we want, but it'll give us other stuff that's good for us. So, Definitely. and um, and it is better than some of the um, other meats that we're eating. Right. Especially these days when people are so into protein oh, and down on carbohydrates, like you, I'm assuming those people are eating a lot of meat. Oh my gosh. I, They're eating a lot of protein. A lot of protein, which, I mean, that's its own story, but... If you're gonna Log do that, your kidneys. like hopefully you're being thoughtful about, you know, so it's just all a whole bunch of red meat or right. just all chicken or all anything. Like right. if it's all one thing, you know, there's probably yeah. throw some in some variety. Yeah. We want variety. Variety is good. Variety is good. But remember, the healthier diets say lower red meat, 
and higher seafood and poultry. Right. Those so, are what we want for our heart. Right, like two or three times a week. Yeah. Lots of seafood. Why is it called imitation crab when it's pulled? I just don't even understand that. Uh, you know, again, it's about the presentation. This like, is what people want. They want crab. And it doesn't even look right. Have you ever looked at it? It's like, and it's got like this weird um, sweet taste. Like it's not, it feels and it tastes imitation and it looks imitation. You probably shouldn't eat it. <laughs> you know, this is a good point though. I was just thinking about like access to stuff, right? Like, yeah. you know, obviously fresh fish is going to be yeah. best. But that's not always practical. I mean, here we are in Kansas. Like, right. where's it? You know, we don't have an ocean. There's not really any We're landlocked. Yeah, we don't remember. We don't want to be um, fishing our below our dam. Right. So you really need to be careful. So you know, one thing is that um, like canned tuna is or canned yeah. um, salmon even is a thing. And yeah. the, there's canned lots of canned there's fish. There's nothing wrong with there. it. Mm -mm, there isn't. Do you know, so when I lived in, you come from this area, when I lived in Philly, right, there'd be all these people fishing in the Google River, and I'm like, they're eating the dead bodies. <laughs> eat that fish. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's up in Rochester, good. we had, you know, the Genesee was pretty murky looking, and, you know, people are relying on that again to supplement their budget, and, uh, it's a it's a big risk. Yeah, just it gonna is. say like okay. be careful when you're fishing locally. Yeah, read you know check out the advisories. Yes. Talk to your local health department. Yes. And, and maybe find a pond that you can fish. I know for that's a, low a really cool idea. Free. Like it. Anyways, okay, we beat our fish to death now. So what are we gonna do next week? What do we think? Well, Was there anything else? No, I think we no, covered okay. everything. Yeah. Um, we are gonna put our um little links to our resources for you lovely people yes yeah. in the comments yeah. so you can re get them and you won't have to remember right and then next week so we should we have we okay. haven't really gotten into soy yet like we've talked about it here and there but we should we should do soy because you know how i love soy i know you do um, but I might like it more if we talk about it. Yeah. Um, well, maybe certain soy. I know it's not all soy is you know just like fish. Just not like all soy hydrogenated soybean oil is not the same thing as like oil. soy yeah. beans or yeah. you know edamame. Or something. Yeah. So I might be able to add some in and increase my buff. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, that's not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, we don't want Dean to have little boy boobs. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. You're not kidding. <laughs> okay, so next week we are going to tackle the topic of soy. Yes, we are. And you people need to give us some more topics because we're getting low we're on our welcome. topics and we're going to have to add some more to our list. So please, if you have some, just give them to us. Mm -hmm. And um, we hope that you have a lovely first week back to school. And um, we will see you next week. Sounds good? Sounds great. All right. Bye-bye.